order to model dragonfly structure first, we need to start with a basic geometry. For example, I'm going to start with a basic surface. After that, I'm going to use um, kangaroo the force-based form finding in order to um, apply forces on this um, surface and deform that surface. Then after that, I'm going to compare the two results together. We are going to explode both of them. So after that, we start the deformation analysis, which, which is based on the displacement relation between the original surface and the deformed one. Then after that, we construct a domain from this value. So we dispatch the, surf the faces of the mesh into four categories. After that, we display the dispatch results. After that, we do a recursive subdivision for the faces and we can control, so we can control the density of the faces distribution. So. And these points they have the uniform distribution and we are going to in our definition we are going to use this one then for the non-uniform faces we are going to apply another pattern of, of points by using populate geometry as we can see here then after that we project these points and construct the Voronoi structure by getting the uniform pattern and the non-uniform pattern. One more time, we can run the whole program again. change the forces now for the second step which is structure optimization for the cross section so we will start with the curve that we produce in our previous step. Then we explode this curve and we get the segment and the vertices. And these are going to be our input for the Karamba plugins for structure optimization and Grasshopper. So first we need to prepare the inputs. First input is going to be the conversion of lines to beams. So we're going to convert all the lines to beams and we get second we need to define our support location and the type of this support to define the load. Then after that, we need to define the cross section. The fifth step is define the material. So here I'm going to use 
steel structure and as we can see we can use concrete wood aluminium and the last step is defining the joints are going to assemble the structure then we start the structure optimization and we preview the result so this shows the cross section displacement analysis utilization analysis and axial stress analysis now let's make this more complex and let's do another layer of this structure here in order to maximize the support and minimize the displacement value after that we can add um, a layer between these two structures as a mesh or fabric layer 